Hi, I'm George <laughs> Mosca. I'm Henry Cornell. I'm Kevin Malarkey. I'm Juan Escobar. And I'm Thomas Sutton. And tonight on 60 Minutes, the Chilean Earthquake. Buenos días por la mañana. Bienvenidos a Noticias Ocho, presentado por Cisco. Hoy tengo la labor de transmitirles una terrible noticia. Ayer, el 27 de febrero del año 2010, un terremoto de 8.8 grados de magnitud azotó la región de Amable en la costa central de Chile. Este terremoto ha sido grabado como el quinto sismo más grande medido por la ciencia. El 80% de la población afirma que sintió su presencia en la noche de ayer. De acuerdo con nuestras fuentes, 525 personas han fallecido y 25 aún siguen perdidas. Roguémosle a Dios y a la Virgen que acompañen a las familias de los perjudicados en este terrible desastre nacional. And now, off to our field engineers. Earthquakes are caused by the movement of the Earth's underlying tectonic plates. Earthquakes release energy in the form of seismic waves that travel through the media surrounding the fault line. Most people view the magnitude of damage caused by an earthquake as a factor determined by how large the earthquake itself is. The soil, however, has a huge impact on the damage an earthquake causes. What Kevin was referring to are the site effects. Site effects are the variations in geologic conditions of a particular site. The two main effects that are considered are the softness of the soil and the thickness of the sediment that sits above the bedrock. If the soil is very soft and very thick, then the effects of the earthquake will be greatly amplified. Seismic waves will travel faster through hard, rocky soil than soft soil. This means that as the waves move from hard rock to soft soil, the amplitude must increase in order for the energy to stay the same. As the energy increases, so does the magnitude of the shaking. A similar principle holds true for sediment thickness. If the sediment above the bedrock is deep, then there is more room for soft soil. More soft soil means more room for seismic waves to pass through, which also increases the magnitude of the shaking. Now that we've seen how different soil properties affect the seismic strength, let's go to Thomas and George in the field to learn about how the earthquake actually changed the properties of the Chilean soil. Now, from what I understand, earthquakes have a large impact on the soil in the area, but how is the soil in Chile directly affected from this latest earthquake? Earthquakes actually significantly reduce the strength of and stiffness of the soil, and we call this phenomenon liquefaction. Liquefaction causes significant strength loss in loose granular soils due to seismic-induced excess pore pressures. The contractive behavior of the soil leads to the excess pore pressure, which results in shearing. The shearing causes the strength to be reduced, and that's when the deformations will occur. As the excess pore pressures reduce, the static strength will again exceed the static stress and the deformations will begin to stop. However, the deformations don't begin to fade where flow failures occur. At rivers and shorelines, when the strong ground shaking stops, the static strength still remains less than the static stress and deformations continue until this balance is equal again. So how, with all these deformations, is the local infrastructure and even the community affected? Well, Thomas, the more modern buildings perform better than some of the older buildings in the city. One place that was badly affected was the San Vicente International Terminal. Since we were unable to gain access due to all the immediate damage, local engineers told us that the building had moved approximately 50 centimeters due to cracks in the pavement that were approximately 2 to 3 meters deep. The buildings farther away from the coastline suffered less damage, but a total of three different buildings had to be demolished because they suffered so much damage from the movement of the soils. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For, for watching 60 Minutes. Yeah.